Hey guys, today we're going to do a quick video on reversing your BitMEX position. Um, someone recently asked what the best way to do this is, and because we've never done it ourselves, we couldn't really answer it. Though we do have a couple ways it can be done, we were not sure which was best, which would work as you would expect it to. So we're going to go on the BitMEX testnet. You can see we're not in any positions or anything. We've got our syntax already written here. The first one, it's just going to open, uh, go all in with a short. Always leaving a little room for fees and stuff, so 99.5%. We're going to throw this into our test alert. First time we're firing this, so we're going to want to add D equals 1, just to make sure it's going to do what we want it to do. Uh, fire network tab. So in our console here, 119,000 contracts. Sounds about right. So we're going to remove our D equals 1. And we're going to give this another quick fire. We'll see some network tab activity, and there it is, 119,538, so a few more than the difference. See, the difference a few seconds can make on BitMEX. I don't think it was much more than a few seconds. Um, that being said, we are in 119,000 contracts. So now what we want to do is we actually want to close that position, give it a couple seconds with the delay, and then open a new. Uh, this time we're going to be opening a long... As per the usual, we're going to throw our D equals 1 on both commands for the test output. Um, the test output is not going to be perfectly accurate on the open because we're not going to be closing this 119,538 contract. So a close would work fine. Um, of course, because it didn't actually close, the opens numbers are incorrect. So all we do now, we know our close is good. We can remove the D equals 1 and we should see our position fully close here. All right, so we know those two pieces together work, so we're going to start the process over here. No need for D equals 1 on our initial short. So we're going to get in our short. Once we're in our short, now we're going to fire this full syntax without any debug code in it. And wait for her to fire. Okay, she fired. Let's see. So we close our short and we opened our new log. So there's going to be a little bit of Bitcoin left over. Um, that's because we're not using Q equals 100%. I want to say most exchanges it works on. Some some exchanges, uh, Binance, we recently fixed it because that was a rounding issue. BitMEX has something to do with the fee calculation. Um, I don't know if it's a little beyond us at the time. We haven't looked at it again since we first initially created it. We would, of course, one day want to be able to use Q equals 100%. But for now, you're always going to have to go a little under. Um, I hope that makes sense. Always, you know, your D equals one on your tests. Oh, option two. We didn't even try option two. Let's go through option two. So we got option two here. We're in a long. So, yeah, we're going to want to open a short. And we would want to reverse completely with option two. So let's see what it's going to do for us. D equals one in this. It is simply going to do a sell for 118,000 contracts which isn't even enough contracts. That's very possibly due to the 99.5% here. So with Q equals 100% and D equals 1, oh, now it's a little much. Right, because now it's using the additional balance, which I'm guessing if we were to fire, all it's going to do is reverse our position and only leave us in a few hundred shorts. Um, to get option two to work, I don't know if you would be able to. Uh, Kraken has like the, the Q200% option. I don't know if that would work on BitMEX. Let's say because of the fee, 199%, but we can try it. We'll see what the D equals one outputs first. 119,181 contracts, so it's still going to be a little over. So let's go back. It's still going to be a little over, so 99.5. Yeah, we did that right. So it doesn't matter. You could probably go to 1,000, 1,200% here, and it's just going to return this 11, 119,000. Slight variations depending on price. So it doesn't look like option two would work. Um, I'm kind of not surprised. I was kind of hoping because low Y equals equity, it would look at your full balance, which it is. But it's not going to be opening you new. It's just going to going to be closing your other position and leave a couple either in the position or the new position is not going to be enough 
So just one command y equals equity does not work, which means we can remove that. So really on BitMEX, you've only got the one option, which is to add a delay in between your position and your, or in between closing your position and opening a new one. Um, hope that makes sense. Hope uh, you guys find it useful. Um, this video was more along the lines to show how we do our testing, our D equals one, obviously take advantage of testnet and you can essentially try anything you want without spending real money. You know, testnet faucets are everywhere. Our testnet account right now, 20 Bitcoin. So, so there's no fear. We can literally test anything we want between D equals one and testnet. There's no reason you should ever have to go live testing and potentially lose, lose money. Always make sure your system's running and ready to go and your syntax doing what you want it to do before going live. Uh, as for the usual, best of luck and don't hesitate to send us a support email, support at Audible with Pink, if you ever have any questions, concerns, or any feedback. Thanks a lot, guys.